The newest stable version of Kodi 21 has just been released. So let's go over not just how to install it, but what is included in the newest update to check if it's actually worth you upgrading to it. Now we're getting closer to Kodi 22 coming out, which should have some major updates included in it. But until that time comes, for now we have Kodi 21.3 Omega, which was released mid-December. I'm just kind of getting to it now. But here are all the different patch notes that you have to know for this update. And I'm going to go over the major ones I think might affect you guys as my viewers. First off, if you're using Kodi on Xbox One, they have just added HDR support for it. They've also fixed Blu-ray playback on Linux and then fixed audio subtitle issues with resuming Blu-ray. So I think those are probably the most common that some of you might run into. Now under library sources and management, they improve the speed of video library rescan. So when you're rescanning your library, that should go a lot faster now. They also fixed multi-episode files overwriting the first episode. For music, they fixed album search failing for different artists' names. So that's that's a big one. Under PVR, they fix crash when PVR stream is stopped via remote app. And for add-ons, they fixed updating add-ons after 25 days of inactivity. Instead, they extended it to 68 years, which means it'll basically never happen. Those are really the major little notes that I think might affect some of you. Now, the way to know if you're going to update it is pretty simple. I first always suggest going into your device and I'm going to show you how to do this on Fire TV Cube, but this can be done on a stick. It can be done on an Android box, Android TV. It doesn't matter. It's pretty much the exact same process. And what we want to do is we want to find go into manage installed apps and we want to find if there is a version of Kodi already on here. Oh, by the way, if you guys were noticing, there are even more apps now that are have that unlicensed content block from Amazon. So Keep that in mind too. Okay, but you wanna to go to manage installed apps and scroll down until you find Kodi right here. Now you can see my version of Kodi. So if we click back, it says 21.0. So this is the first version of Omega, the first stable version that was released. Now, if you have anything less than 21, I would definitely suggest installing 21.3 here. Now, if you have 21, which is three versions back, I would probably also update it. So what you're going to do is click on Kodi and I want you to uninstall it. I find uninstalling any previous versions is the first step you have to do. Now we just want to follow the basic steps to be able to install unknown apps. So head back to settings, go to my fire TV, click on the about section and click on your device's name five times until it says you're a developer. Now, once you're a developer, you'll now have this developer's options inside of your Fire TV. But we need to install an app first. And this is a very popular, simple to use app. Let me move my head here. It is called Downloader. So go ahead and install Downloader right here. Only this version here with the over 600,000 reviews. This is a fake version, it's a scam. This is also a fake version. Only go with this main one. It should be the first one that pops up. Now, once you have that installed, head back to MyFire TV, go to developers options, go to install unknown apps, and you want to make sure downloader is turned on. This is very important. Now we want to go to our applications and we want to find the downloader app right here. Now there's two different ways we can install Kodi. You can either go officially to Kodi's website, which is Kodi.tv. So I'll show you this really quickly, but I'll show you an even quicker way. So if we go Cody.tv. This is officially straight from their website. Remember, Cody is a completely legal media player. It's actually available on the Google Play Store. But this is the first place you can go. Then you can just simply go to the top right here. We can find uh, download at the bottom here. And this should just bring us to sometimes it's a little tricky with downloader here and this little mouse thing here where you can select what device you're on. We're on Android. So you can click on Android right there. But the easier way to do this is I've already made the official version available for you guys. So all you have to do is type in the code in the search bar 773820 and then press go right here. Now this is going to bring you to my own personalized downloads page where I try to keep a bunch of legal downloads available here for you guys to use at any time. So go ahead and scroll down until you find 
the Cody section and I've updated it to just Cody 21.3. Now there's only some devices that are 64 bit. This would include an Nvidia Shield TV Pro and I believe a Fire TV box, which is a really old device. Everything else is 32 bit. So just select the 32 bit. It's gonna start to download the actual application right here. So just let this go through really quickly. Now, once it is completely downloaded, it's gonna automatically go to the install prompt. This just takes a few seconds and right here, and then in the bottom right, we can click install. Now it may say at the top here, you're overwriting an existing application. That means you still have a version of Kodi available on your device. Now, sometimes you are able to overwrite it to the newest version, but if it is not an official version, you will not be able to. So it will say maybe it doesn't work or something like that. But for this right now, just go ahead and click install. And in just a few seconds, you will now have Kodi 21.3 available on your Fire TV device. We can go ahead and open it up here. And so remember, this is just a video player. At the end of the day, it actually doesn't tell you how to do anything different. But of course, we have a ton of guides for that as well, not on YouTube, but on other places. Okay, now one thing you should always consider doing guys if you are going to get Kodi. Now before you go and install anything through Kodi, there is one thing you have to do and that's head back to the Amazon search bar right here and type in IP Vanish. Now IP Vanish is probably one of the best VPNs to use with Kodi. It's the one I recommend. So when you type it into your search bar, you can go ahead and install it right here. Now, before you even start using IP Vanish, you do need to go and purchase a VPN. So down below in the description, I have a link right here that's gonna take you to my custom IP Vanish discount page where you can get it for as low as $3 a month and they have up to a two year and a three year plan. All of them now come with E sim data as well but this is the perfect vpn to use with cody select your plan you get a 30-day money back guarantee and once you have it before you boot up cody and start doing stuff on it go ahead and connect to any server around the world you can see there's tons of them to choose from head back to cody and now you can start installing and doing other things on it that's a very important thing to do if you are going to be streaming online so thank you guys for checking out this quick tutorial on how to install Kodi. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. We got some big things coming later in 2026. I've been doing a lot more projector reviews and we just finished a review on this VR headset that kind of looks like a thousand inch IMAX screen. It was actually really cool. So check that video out if you guys have a chance. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one. Bye.